there's quite a bit of conflicting and also outdated information floating around when it comes to plant watering times. I've been in the horticultural industry for over a decade and have grown a few different types of plants, not just succulents. The information in this video will be science-based with links to the articles in the description. I will also share my experience from the years I managed a nursery of foliage plants as well as succulents. We'll firstly look at why timing matters and then identify the absolute best times to water not just succulents but also other plants. The reason for this is simple. Fungus and bacteria cause plant diseases. Water, especially when sitting on the leaves and stems, can encourage unwanted visitors. It's impossible to control the rain, especially for plants growing in the ground. But watering during dry spells or when taking care of plants growing under cover can absolutely be timed. Basically, what you want to avoid is the leaf and surface area being continuously wet for more than 8 to 9 hours. This is because harmful fungus spores and bacteria need a window of at least 9 hours to start growing. These harmful pathogens spread with seed-like structures and just like seed need moisture to sprout. If they dry out, they tend to die. This is why I always advise to water when the potting mix has completely dried out. If the potting mix is dry, the leaves and stems will be too. Having said all of this, I'd really like to stress one thing. Just because a plant is wet for more than 9 hours doesn't automatically mean a disease will develop. The great majority of my current stock of plants lives permanently outdoors even when it rains for days. And they are just fine most of the time. If I see signs of fungal disease, there are fungicides that will take care of that. If you search this question online, the great majority of websites on the front page have almost identical answers. They say to water in the morning and avoid noon and evening. As a grower that's read lots of horticultural books and has hands-on experience, I agree with one of the three. Watering in the evening, especially when the sun's gone down, is not great if done often. Evening watering can give plant disease, causing pathogens just enough time to sprout and establish. Because water generally doesn't evaporate as fast during the night, it will linger on the plant's surface. And dew can make things even worse. Morning dew can start forming around midnight and can stay on plants until early morning, depending on the plant's position, etc. And this is why morning watering can also be unsuitable. You have dew from midnight and then add more water in the morning which can then prolong the surface wetness for well over 9 hours. If there's no morning dew though, then this will obviously not be a problem. But let's talk about the most controversial out of the three, noon watering. Noon watering is said to be a waste of water as it will evaporate very fast while the sun is strong. Many people also worry that watering when the sun is high up in the sky, it will burn foliage through the water droplets. However, research has kind of debunked this theory and found water cannot cause sunburn, with an exception for hairy leaves. The link to the research is in the description below the video. If you are going to read the research paper, please read the whole thing as a lot of the initial information can be taken out of context. My own anecdotal experience is aligned with this research and I've never noticed burns when watering in the middle of the day, even when very hot. I will however note that during the hot months I use 30% shade cloth over all of my succulents and 60 for foliage plants. This bounces strong UV off, protecting plants from sunburn. My first ever nursery was a rental on 5 acres. Part of the deal was I look after the existing crop of foliage plants. The owner, who's been in horticulture his whole life, insisted I water only during the day and water well. The reasoning was fungus and other plant diseases. And I think it worked well. In my three years of running that nursery, I have never had to use fungicide on the crops. 
Personally, I avoid watering my nursery succulents in the evening and either water in the morning if there's no dew and I have deliveries during the day. But most of the time I water during the day. Because succulents can be prone to fungal diseases, it is not a bad thing the water evaporates faster. The thing is though, we lead busy lives and it can be nigh on impossible to stick to ideal watering times. I sell my plants and therefore try my best to give them optimal care so they look their absolute best. It is my full time job and I spend all day every day around my plants. But not everyone is at home during the day. Some go to work early in the morning and come back in the evening. If evenings are the only time you can water, then that's fine. It's not ideal, but sometimes better to water thirsty, distressed plants in the evening than to wait till you're home during the day. By that time, some plants, even succulents, could die of thirst, especially when it's been super hot. And on that note, it's time to end. I hope this video was useful and if you have any questions or would like to add to the video, you can do so in the comments below. To learn more about succulents, hit the subscribe button or go to our website succulentgrowingtips.com. Thank you very much for watching.